Oh, hey, I'm standing deep inside the lungs of our planet. <sighs> Did you hear that? That's the sound of our planet breathing. Trees produce most of the oxygen on our planet, and without them, things would get pretty stuffy around here. Now, most of us don't get out here that much, and we take for granted that the forest is the source of some very important stuff, like wood, paper, and oxygen. Do you know where they come from or how they're produced? Come on, I'll show you. I'm here in the urban jungle known as New York City, and I'm going to find out just how much people know about the forest. Why is the forest important? Because it has life in it. Can I ask you the same question? Uh, the trees give us oxygen? Well, that's the main thing, oxygen. Uh, excuse me, can you comment on forest? Comment on forest. They provide us with shade from the sun. Quick joke, how does a crazy man get through the woods? He takes the psychopath. <laughs> now, if forests weren't around, we would not have air, is that correct? That's correct, yeah. Let's have a holding your breath contest to see what it would be like if there weren't forests and trees. Are you ready? <gasps> what would it be like if there were no trees? There would be no apples. No life, no, no birds, no anything. She's busted out! <laughs> Call the ambulance! What is sustainable forestry? Sustainable forestry. I don't know that much about it, I'm sorry. Sustainable forestry is when they, you're able to, I believe, build a forest that is able to sustain itself. There's certain things you need trees for, okay, then you have to use the product, but you have to replace what you use. If you like sustainable forestry, lick my face. Yeah! There you have it. Who likes it? What does an FSC label look like? I would imagine it looked like an F, S, and C combined together. I don't know. I would imagine it would have to look like an F, and then S, and then C. A tree? You, you just copied exactly what I said and put it as your own answer. Kind of. That tells you whether the stuff is good enough to eat or, or whatever like that. We are going to have to educate some people about this. What would the trees say if they could talk? Don't ever cut me down. Um, grow more of us. Nobody say hi. That's true. Trees are neglected. We need to hug our trees. Would you hug a tree? Uh, not right now. Oh, come on. For your girlfriend? <laughs> How does it feel? It feels great. Really can't. Really? We, we gotta run. Time. <laughs> it's, it's we have an incredible story developing here. This man has never hugged a tree. He's gonna do it for the first time for our cameras. Go ahead. He's in there. How does it feel? It feels great. Excuse me. How you Can doing? I talk to you guys? Yeah. Come for a minute, yeah. Where did the paper from that map come from? Um, from the hotel lobby. Do you know where printer paper comes from? Um, like a computer. But before it comes to the computer. I don't know. Where does paper come from? In the store. Well, the store is only the beginning, or should I say, the end. When you buy paper, you are the end of a long chain that started somewhere in the forest. We use a lot of paper and wood every day just to build houses and make photocopies, which means we're using a lot of trees. Not too long ago, forests were cleared with no plan for replacing the trees that were cut down. But now, sustainable forestry practices are being adopted by the timber industry to make sure that we conserve our forest resources. It's important to buy lumber and paper products that are obtained through these certified practices. The question is, how do we do that? What about the chain of custody? Good question. To find out, you have to seek the source. That's where chain of custody comes in. Now hold on to that. OK. Chain of custody is the process that ensures the products you buy come from forests that are managed sustainably. 
When you go to your lumber yard or home center, you can tell lumber is certified by the FSC logo that's stamped on it. Stay with me now. Every step of the process is considered a checkpoint. The chain of custody extends all the way back into the forest, where trees are cut and harvested. Thanks, Frank. Certified logging companies are careful to remove trees so that forests have a chance to renew themselves. That way, we'll have forests for generations to come. That's important. Here you go. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Welcome. Of course, certified practices only work if you buy certified products. So remember to seek the source and find out where the products you buy come from. When we're looking out for these guys, we're looking out for ourselves. We're taking care of you, buddy. He's busy breathing. <laughs> All right, come on, we're gonna get back to the city. Come on. Come on, slowpoke. It's a pretty long walk. I was hoping we could grab a cab. Yeah, you're a city kid. 